Hi everyone, welcome back to Scott 47 um, and welcome to the May layout update of 2012. I had to think there for what the year was. Um, so this is the pre-exam update. So um, for May, a lot of people mean start of summer type stuff. Um, for May in terms of Scott 47, last May was the first was when I converted to DCC. But May for every secondary school pupil means, of course, exam season. And this year my exams um, conclude with the higher level exams, which are probably extremely important, so I just need to be studying hard. So I haven't had much, or I have been studying hard rather, and I haven't had much time up here. But there has been a little bit of progress. Actually, there's been quite a bit of progress, because a lot, as a lot of you may know, um, I've been without a camera since Modorous got on in February. Um, but now I've got a new one, and here it is. Here's a picture of it on the screen now. It's a Fujifilm, uh, not Fu is it Fujifilm? Yes, it is. Fujifilm Fineplex uh, 750 something or other. It's it's quite good from what I've seen so far. Um, and this is recording in HD, and which is good for you, I believe this is recording in monophone. Um, I'll tell you why that's good. It's because I generally stand on one side of the camera. Which meant for you that sound that my voice only came out from one side from one of your speaker channels, which I know a lot of you find quite annoying. So anyway, let's just get started. Okay, so this is the film you saw, this is the train you saw rather in the introduction. Uh, it's the class 26 pulling the mail train. So here is the travelling post office that you saw the video of. If you haven't, it's on my channel, and I'll put a link to it in the video description. Uh, I would recommend it, even if you're not interested in this model. Um, I did a little history of the Travelling Post Office service, which I thought was quite good. It took me quite a while to do. Um, now these. If you follow me on Twitter, at scottrow 47 you'll understand, you'll know what these are. These are Backman uh, Full Break. There's two of them. And they're in the Royal Mail livery. Um, they're really nice. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were quite relatively cheap on Hattons. And there's the Hoover in the background. I'll just have to talk over it. Um, hopefully, hopefully you can still hear it. Um, so yeah, these are really nice. I really like them. They're really nicely detailed. Um, on the inside, there's kind of like a building. So back on this one, one of the windows in the middle is blacked out. So you can see this was the guard's door and then either side. Um, but the shades of red is different. The shades of red are different. Slightly. This is a lighter shade. This is a duller shade. This is a... I can't... I don't know. Lighter yellow and a darker yellow. I don't know which is more, like, correct. But I personally... Well, the Hoover's coming closer. I personally prefer... Um, the darker colours, because I think this one looks looks a bit Disney-ish, if you know what I mean. And the Hoover's underneath. Um, but yeah, no, they look they look good as a mail train. So like kind of a little travelling post office, and they've got the super res type things in the back. Um, so yeah, this is nice. Nice we train this. Um, going further back. Um, the class 101 and the class 47 have recovered from their cold spell. Um, in the last layout update I was saying, oh they haven't been running too well. Um, but I think that was just because of the cold. They're running a lot better now. Um, here, this is my class 37. Um, a review of that will be coming shortly, I got that for my birthday. So, not much else has changed in the station area. Um, I just need one more point over there in the depot to complete that all the depot track. Um, now, coming over around here, this is where a lot of the change has happened. Um, we'll see it change. As you can see, there's now a hill here. So that's nice, because there was a hill here. Then I changed the embankment, and then there's a hill here again. Um, 
so there was the the a lot while ago um if a lot any I presume a lot of you follow the Everard Junction channel um he um was showing how he made the scenery and I thought oh I haven't made a hill in a while they're quite easy to do why don't I go and do it so I came up and I made this hill um it's also nice because it's kind of an embankment at the back so this this bit isn't flat so it will kind of look like the trains are running through like a little cut valley and then up to this tunnel here. Yeah. That's going to be a tunnel. That's that's not the tunnel. This is just showing that there's going to be a tunnel. That's a cardboard cut out. Um, so yeah. So basically it's just these card struts. Fill the newspaper. Bit of masking tape over to hold the newspaper in. Um, the balls in the newspaper. And then just this scrumpled up newspaper. Oh, this isn't scrumpled up. This is PVA glue. PVA glue, mix it with water, drip, dip these in, slap them on, um, and they're good. They're quite, it's fairly tough. You probably need to probably need to do another layer if I really wanted to. Um, and down here, there's a little left a little gap for a signal um, or an AWS box. Um, so yeah, this this is going to look nice when it has. Uh, I'm probably going to do a mixture of grass mat and scattered materials. And maybe even have a go at making some rock faces. Um, as you, over here on the Bee Creek station, um, I need to get some more platform for this. Um, the one of one oh the one one oh one five six is setting out because I've decided that I want it working again, so I'm going to get it fixed. Um, a while ago, I also decided this, um, and I phoned up Harbour Hobbies, and they said, "Yeah, we have someone who can who fixes stuff." And then I never got around to handing it in. Um, so I'm going to get it fixed, and it's sitting out so I can rem so it can remind me of how much I like it and how much I want it fixed. Um, so that's all that from up this end. Now we're going to go into the town scene where most of the changes happen. Okay, so this is where the majority of the work has been done. As you can see, a lot of well, it's progressed a lot. Um, there's now markings in the bus depot, um, so you can see the bus lanes. I move the bus out of the way. Uh, I know it's upside down. Actually, I'll come around. I'll show you. Oh, stepping over. Oh, let's make this. Move this. I'm measuring it, and I mark one. Huh. This is the one that's a bit faulty and that keeps derailing. Um, as you can see, I keep a very tidy layout. I see. Right. Um, so there they have the, the bus markings, one, two, three, four, for different lanes. Um, the lanes are different sizes, but nevertheless, who cares. Um, and I've painted these curved stones yellow for where the passengers will be getting on the buses, just because you know, health and safety and all that. Um, this is a bit I'm quite proud of. Uh, bus only. So that's f painted freehand. It's quite good, eh? And then the dotted lines, and then again over here, there are these dotted lines. These, these dotted lines are painted freehand, they don't look too bad. Um, and there are bus only signs again, but these ones don't look too good because the ground is really rough here, so it's hard to paint it on. Um, over here, there are little arrows telling them, oh, look, bus drivers, you can go this way, you can go this way, and then here you need to go round, and then. If you're coming down here, you need to turn, but I didn't think that turn would be possible on a bus. Um, so nevertheless, that's good. As you, there's a little cameo here of the traffic officers are pulled over. Some speeding driver in a lot, uh, some street speeding uh, person who's in a Lotus. Um, so that's nice. Um, the station itself hasn't really changed that much. Let's bring the light around so you can see. I've decided I quite like the pavements like this. With the wishy-washy colours. It looks quite good. Um, so yeah. Uh, not a lot has changed. What else has changed? I painted a bit more road. Um, I think that's really it. I really haven't done a lot. I've Because I now have quite a, quite a good size of trains. Quite a few many trains. Um, I have I've been playing trains a lot more, which is really nice. It's good to be playing trains, especially now that I have quite a few locals at the DCC 
really comes into its own. Um, there's a few luchos that I'd like to get at the moment. Um, a Backman Class 105 is one that I quite fancy getting. Um, another back. I know I'm Scott Real 47, but I quite fancy another 37. Um, the the Backman 37 in that kind of intercity e type livery. Um, I fancy a Shunter. There's an 03 one that I fancy, which is weathered and looks really nice. Um, I also fancy a Helgen 47, which is weathered and nice, and it's called the Commonwealth Spirit. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I really like the Class 26s. I wouldn't mind another one. <laughs> but that's that's way off it. Um, <laughs> um, I quite fancy getting some more coaching stock. And maybe some more Mark 1s. Um, as predicted, we have... <laughs> Hornby have not produced enough, or the demand is too high for Mark for these intercity Mark 2s that you see behind, so it's now impossible to get, well, nigh on impossible to get enough of the second class open ones. So what I'm thinking is making this like kind of a little sleeper set, so getting some of the Mark 2, not Mark 2, Mark 3 intercity sleepers that Hornby have released. Um, I also need to complete my class 303 project, which I shall do. And I need to get bits off that off eBay, so like some wires, some kind of like LED strip lights for the top. Now I'm not going to get like the modelling ones because they're a rip off. Just get like you can get, you can either get like enough for one coach or enough for two coaches for like nine pounds, or you can get about two meters of it for nine pounds on eBay. So I think I'm going to go for that. So I'm going to finish that, DCC that, get it up all nice. Uh, quite fancy DCC in the, one, the 158. Getting the 156 finished. Uh, repaired rather. DCC in the 86. I got a of Scotland. Um, so yeah, a lot on the plate. I don't think I'm going to get a new lo I don't think I'm going to get one of the new locos soon. I think I might get either more, just finish the projects, or do projects that I have. Uh, quite fancy getting more people. That's always good, more people. As for track work, it's pretty much completed apart from that one point up in the depot. Um, but yeah, right, next thing that's being uploaded is a review of that V Train class 37. It's going to be a kind of review slash comparison to the Backman one. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.